if whatever we have created has to transform itself into well-being, an inner experiential understanding and expression of this science is very needed. There are five dimensions in which a human being can be trapped or be liberated. It is from these five that Adi Yogi is always represented by the number five. It's the Pancha Makaras and Panchacharas, everything comes from that. First thing is the physical existence. The physical is possible, whether it's atomic or individual or planetary or celestial or cosmic. Physical is possible only when a certain precision of geometry happens. If there is no geometric precision, physical is impossible in its existence. It cannot exist. The planets are managing to stay as a system, not because of some other force, just geometrical precision. The atoms are ma managing to function as atoms because of geometrical precision. The very cells in the body are functioning the way they are functioning because of geometrical precision and the whole cosmos exists because of geometrical precision. The whole system of Hatha Yoga is just this, to bring your system to a certain level of symmetry where you are in sync or there is a certain geometric perfection to you that if you sit or stand here, everything is at ease. Instead of standing like this, if you stand like this for five days, something will break in the system. Just the way you sit, either you're working for life or you're working for death right now. Yes, the very way you sit, the very way you breathe, the very way you stand, the very way you hold yourself, either you're working for death or working for life. If you attain a certain level of precision, life flourishes. If you get into a certain level of dissymmetry, life starts breaking down. So all physical existence is in a certain geometric precision, which is always… all these things are expre expressible in mathematical laws and formulas. The modern physics is exploring this in many different ways. Everything that is geometrically correct can find a mathematical expression. All laws, physical laws are mathematically expressible. The next dimension is that of biochemical sync. If your chemistry is not in sync, something will go wrong. Today everybody knows this, modern, ma modern medicine has explored this in so many different ways and try to manipulate this in many, many different ways by adding or taking away chemicals from the system. The biochemical symmetry or co coherence is most important if one has to live. This is not just for the physical body, this is for the earth, this is for the sky, this is for the universe, this is for everything. The next com comes the em energy coherence. If energetically one is not coherent, once again there is a dissymmetry and it falls apart. These are different dimensions of existence. Next comes what is today being referred as quantum symmetry or quantum coherence or generally in the yogic terminology we call this vijnana, that is shesh gyan means, gyan means knowledge, vishesh gyan means extraordinary knowledge. Something is referred to as extraordinary knowledge when you are not capable of perceiving that through physical senses. Anything that you cannot perceive through physical senses, that dimension of perception is referred to as vishesh gyan or vijnana. The fifth dimension is of the consciousness. If your consciousness is in sync, you become cosmic, you become one with everything, which is what is being referred to as yoga. Life is like this, just get this, there are just two dimensions here, inward, outward. Only, only and only a human being is capable of being conscious of this. There is inward, there is outward. 